Restaurant Unstoppable. Inspire, empower, and transform the industry. With excitement, allow me to introduce to you today's guest, founder and CEO of Bicky, Abhinav Kapoor. Abhinav, are you feeling unstoppable today? It's today, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's been a long two years, and uh, I got two small kids, You're so it, it depends on the day, but uh, today feeling unstoppable. You're doing it. So, I love yeah. it, and I cannot wait to get into your story to learn more about Bicky, to learn more about the great unbundling, to learn more about uh, how we can keep our data from these these greedy third parties <laughs> services that are out there, and they're not evil. I know that they're all, all evil, but... We won't talk talk about that yet. <laughs> uh, let, let's get that motivational, inspirational ball rolling with a success quarter mantra. What do you got for us? Uh, sure. Yeah. So I grew up pretty spiritual. I was raised Hindu, you know, as it is with immigrant families when they come here. I, I think I grew up more religious than my family in India did. Um, Why and is that? I just people want to cling to the culture when yeah, they come here, right? They don't want to lose. They don't want to lose that piece that they mm-hmm. grew up with. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as India is modernized and it's become more secular and, and you know, when you're an immigrant and you grow up here, you go the opposite direction. Yeah. So, but uh, my favorite Hindu mantra growing up, I'll say that and then I'll say briefly the meaning, but it's Om Abhayam Mitrat, Abhayam Amitrat, Abhayam Gyatat, Abhayam Parokshat, Abhayam Matram, Abhayam Divana, Sarva Asha Mama Bhavantu Mitram. And what it means is may I be unafraid of the known and the unknown May I be unafraid of my friend or enemy. May I be unafraid of the light or the dark. May I be unafraid of everything in my path and may peace come to me from all sides. That's some wisdom right that's, there. I, that's, I, I was telling you, I have it tattooed you on got, my arm. Yeah, so you get it on your arm. Yeah, give, give a camera the, right, a flex right, real quick yeah, for I us. <laughs> it's, it's more of a jiggle than a flex these days, but yeah. So I got it. Yeah. So I, I got that on that. my 30th birthday. But so, I mean, yeah. the, the underlying message to me is don't be afraid. Yeah. I, well, so look, I think... It is, it's very easy to look at the future and, and, and there's a lot of uncertainty in the world and it is very easy to be afraid of that. I think as people, that is the natural reaction to look at the future, to look at uncertainty and to think, I don't know what's going to happen and that inherently scares me. And so the tendency is to stay in your, uh, in your, in your zone of comfort. Yeah. Um, and this to me, and I, it's not like just because it's tattooed on my arm, I stick to it all the time. Uh, but it's there because when I'm in the shower in the morning or when I'm just sitting at my desk or I'm having a tough day, it's just a reminder that like growth is supposed to be uncomfortable. Growth is supposed to be full of fear and uncertainty. And the best that you can do is try and face it, uh, with the understanding that fear is natural because without fear, you know, it's that old line from game of Thrones. Like how does somebody learn to be brave by facing what they fear? Yeah. Uh, and so it's just a constant reminder. And especially as I'm building a company, being a parent, you know, trying to be a good husband, trying to be a good partner to our restaurant customers. There's fear that's embedded in all of those relationships. Uh, and so it's just about like, how do I face that fear and continue to progress and get better? Each yeah. Day, and so. one of the things I'm most passionate about, and I think is going to be a solution, uh, to our future in any vertical, not just the restaurant industry is the the answers to our future are in our past. Yeah. And I'm a huge fan of anthropology and just the studying of, of humans and what makes us us. And when we learn about our past and how we got to where we were 10,000 years ago, we still have a lot of characteristics we just don't need anymore. Right. And, and one of those characteristics is fear, right. you know, and, and we developed a level of fear to survive and we are apex predators today. We, but we still have that, those genes that make us afraid because we don't know if that lion's going to be popping out of the bushes right. any second, you know? Right. So it's important to recognize that a level of fear is good. It keeps us it's aware. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, we will be anxiety stricken, like, Fools! If we right. just if we let that succumb fear, to it, exactly. Yeah. We we have to remind ourselves: yeah. fear is good. It makes us look into the future. It makes us project. But at the same time, it can be crippling, and you have to learn to let go of that fear right. sometimes. So awesome way right. to get this thing started. Right.